So I don't want to say no, so I offer him a ride. And on our way back, they're over to his house. He looks over and we, we pass this windowless van. And he's like, oh shit, I gotta get one of those. Uh, so either he's gonna be a pedophile or a cop. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm gonna stop hanging out with him. Because my shit doesn't come inside with that kind of stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, another story about work. Uh, I was walking around trying to think of a good 9-11 joke for the next time 9-11 rolled around. I really wanted to knock my Facebook audience dead, so to speak. Uh, so I was why I had a, a little piece of paper. I had a 7-Eleven on one side and 9-11 on the other side, or the Twin Towers. And uh, so there's a joke there, and I was walking around, and finally it came to me. And I was like, oh shit, got it, get set up, get punchline, walk around, try and tell a couple people, and for the life of me, I keep fucking up the punchline. So, I'm all depressed at the end of the day, when I go up to my buddy, I'm like, hey man, I got this great 9-11 joke, I just keep fucking up the punchline. It's like, oh, so you keep cracking and burning, eh? <laughs> shit, I gotta write that down. <laughs> yeah, so now is a good time to, uh... <laughs> Are you going to unbutton it slowly over the course of my side or just whip it out? I like to whip it out. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's not my only take on politics, this is what I like to call. Uh, you guys ever notice how the penis is pretty much just a figurehead from the ages of zero to puberty? It like, doesn't really factor into the decision-making processes, but if it gets pissed off or angry, it can really embarrass you. <laughs> so, it's like when you hit the age of 13 or whatever, you hit puberty, it's like Bush takes over, it's all about Bush. Yeah. Start wanting to invade sovereign nations while maintaining the facade that you really just want to be friends and get to know them and help them out, you know, free them from that evil dick. Tater there with. And then uh, after a while, it just becomes both like pulling out without looking like an asshole. <laughs> so I'm 21 and I just recently got comfortable with uh, taking my shirt off in public. Like, I'm, kinda, I'm built like a kinder surprise a little bit. Like, you look at me like, oh, he's got a pretty cute face. I wonder what's underneath. I'll give you a hint. Every time you get a muffin top. <laughs> That's, uh, I, I, I renamed Summer one hot, sweaty, uncomfortable mess filled with a multitude of opportunities to be pressured to take off your shirt when you don't want to. <laughs> And I don't talk about summer that much because that's really inconvenient to say in sentences. <laughs> and so I, I go to the beach and stuff and like uh, I keep my shirt on. And I was like, I'm always wondering what is the like jack dude with the frosted tips, barbed wire tattoo, jacked up dooley, hot girlfriend, what does he think when he sees me roll up to the beach in my t-shirt, my flippy floppies, and uh, my big bag of chips? <laughs> He's probably looking at me and oh, all motherfucker, lucky he doesn't have to burn in the sun. <laughs> Gotta fucking keep this tattoo under wraps, I'm getting a new eagle edition, is gonna get caught in the barbed wire. It's gonna blow people's minds. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You gotta give my girlfriend an orgasm. He doesn't have to give Miss Vicky an orgasm. Oh, my life sucks. But it's so awesome and I'm never gonna let people know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, stopped going to the bar recently. Uh, spending way too much money on liquor. 40 50 60 70 dollars a night. And after a while, a hooker really starts seeming like a better investment. <laughs> so, there's <laughs> plenty of fish. It's like, there's this category, it's like, meet me. It's like, yes, no, maybe when I'm drunk. Where we just rename it to would you fuck me. Um, so I'm lactose intolerant, quit drinking for a month, uh, a little while ago. And whenever I want to feel badass, I just go buy some milk. <laughs> Lactose intolerance is pretty much just a euphemism for I vomit violently out my asshole when I have dairy products. <laughs> and that's the thing about comedians and prostitutes, we both make you kind of feel guilty after we satisfy you. <laughs> Not always what the agency advertises. And uh, we sell ourselves for cash. 
I'll do an awful lot for 10 bucks. <laughs> go on for like 20 minutes. Seriously. Alright, uh, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be up a little bit later doing some other jokes. But thanks. Yeah.